say uh, it's great. And it's also not. To be honest, all these AI shenanigans are not my cup of tea. I would much rather these companies spend all these resources to more tangible and day-to-day -day stuff in the interface or on the devices, but it is what it is. And I'm here to show you every single Galaxy AI feature that has been released so far, including One UI 7 Beta. I will be scoring them between 1 to 5 and I'll be putting the scoring down here so you can see it. Also, I'll be scoring all these features from 1 to 10. 1 means I only use it once and 5 means is that I use it almost every single day. So without further ado, let's start the list with our first Galaxy AI feature. Call Assist is a really useful and a powerful feature basically a live translator for your phone calls. With the One UI 6.1 update, it is also started to support third-party apps such as WhatsApp and with One UI 7, it gained another useful addition. Now, you can transcribe your recorded calls and see them on text format. It all sounds good, but that's the only thing this feature is really good at. In theory, Yes, it is a really cool feature, it might be really useful, but in practice, no one really understands what's going on from the other side, and the conversation is not organic. You have to wait for the translation to happen, then the other side has to listen, then speak the whole sentence, then wait for the translation again, and this just takes a lot of time. And if you really want to contact with someone with another language, and if they are not aware of this application, then good luck with that because they will not understand it. So my score is unfortunately one. It is really good on theory, but like I said, it is not usable in day-to-day -day life. Don't get me wrong, if you have a friend that you're not speaking the same language of and they're aware of your using this application and have the patience, then yes, this can work pretty well, but like I said, if you're thinking about using this in a clutch situation that you really have to get some work done, this is not it. When it comes to the call transcription, unfortunately, it is not available in every single region because of all the regulations and the laws. So it would be pointless for me to score this, so I will not. Next on the list is Chat Assist or the writing assist. They're basically the same thing, so I will act like they're one. This is the complete opposite of the call assist. It consists of four main features, namely chat translation, composer, style and grammar, and with the One UI 7 suggested replies. It also has two hidden features that I will come to later that edit with One UI 7. Okay, this is a game changer. I use every single feature of the chat assist except Compose daily and it's really good at its job. Chat translation is a universal translation layer for your messaging apps and yes, it does work with third-party apps as well. With style and grammar option, you can correct grammatical errors and change the tone of your message with a single tap. To be honest, I have never needed to use the Compose feature, but it's basically an automated text writer in a way. You write roughly what you want to write and it creates the text for you. To be honest, I would much rather use ChatGPT to do this job, but I will not complain. What about suggested replies? It is not what you think, actually. It's supposed to give you some suggested replies on your Galaxy Watch using the AI power of your phone, but I couldn't make it work, so I cannot show you a demonstration. Finally, two surprises. You can easily summarize your text or create bullet points from them to share directly. As I said in the beginning, chat is simply amazing, and it is actually the main reason I use Samsung keyboard daily. However, with One UI 7, you will be able to use these features with a long press of a text. Thus, you don't need to use Samsung keyboard to have these features. 
So, the interpreter. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never used this feature, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have its uses. So, I just want to pass this feature without scoring. Okay, this is another big one. Not as this can auto-recognize and format your notes with headers, bullet points, and paragraphs, which is really useful if you take a lot of written notes on your device. It can also summarize your notes to make them more easy to read, but it can also transcribe voice notes and summarize them at the same time, which is insane. Of course, it can also help you to correct your spelling or grammar errors. Moreover, it can generate cover images for your notes based on the content. And finally, the most important feature of not assist in my daily life is being able to translate your notes. You can say that, well, what is revolutionary about it? And my answer to that would be, you can also translate PDF files directly. I can't describe how many times this helped me as a foreigner. Even if this was its only feature, I will give it five when I consider how much effort it is to translate a PDF file. So this is an easy five for me. Transcript Assist. This is technically similar to one feature of the Note Assist and it really comes to my clutch as a master student. Simply record whatever is important to you, then let the magic happen. Transcript Assist will analyze the whole voice recording and transcribe it. And it can also differentiate between multiple speakers as well. Like it's not enough already, it can also summarize the whole transcript and format it while doing so. I will cheat on my scale for this one and I will give it a 5. Even though I don't use it almost every single day, it is, it is just an awesome feature. And when you need this kind of feature, it is basically irreplaceable. Did you know that with the help of the browsing assist, you can both summarize and translate every single web page natively? Well, now you do. And it is another easy fight for me. I can't count the times that it saved me from reading the unnecessary parts and empty paragraphs of a news article. And also being able to translate every single page natively with only one click is just amazing. Believe it or not, browsing is the only reason that makes me use Samsung internet. This is how useful it is for me. Okay, this one is between a gimmick and a useful feature. And I'm talking about photo assist. It basically consists of two main features, namely generative edit and portrait studio. Portrait Studio is a feature that will turn a photo into several different types of drawing that you can choose from. To be honest, by itself, this is an easy one for me. Yeah, it is cool to try it once, but the generated images doesn't really represent the original image and kind of look uncanny. Well, what about the generative edit? It is a useful feature unlike the Portrait Studio in some cases. You can delete a subject in a photo or change its position and size. Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well most of the time. And when you consider you can simply use Google Photos for Google's version of this, and the fact that it is much better, it's a two on a better day. Also, I have to be honest with you. I don't really like the idea of editing an object in an image. I'm not getting into all that ethical stuff, but a photo for me is a static view from past. When you blur the line between real and generated, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But I have to be honest with my scaling and sometimes this generative edit has its uses. So I will give it a two. What about drawing assist? Well, for this one, I also have to cheat on my scale because I will give this a zero. It is just a weird feature that has no value for me. 
the generated things doesn't even look great. And I have no idea Samsung was thinking while implementing this feature. In my opinion, it is just a huge waste of time for the developers. Okay, the next one is a little bit of an obscure feature since you need to enable it in the labs setting. What I'm talking about is photo ambient wallpaper. It basically overlays the current weather onto your wallpaper. Simple as that, but I love it. The only downside is that it only works on lock screen for whatever reason and effects does not apply to the home screen. This is really hard for me to read because inherently it is a subjective topic, but I will give it a tree. I love to use it time to time to add a little bit of flair to my lock screens. And finally, our last entry, Health Assist. To be honest, it doesn't deserve a standalone entry in this list, but Samsung thinks so, so it is what it is. What it does is, it basically summarizes your Samsung health data and gives you some recommendations based on your activity level, heart rate, and etc. I never read them since 99% of the time, what is written is simply an obvious fact that does not bring anything to the table that you already don't know. The fact that I don't even bother to read it makes it an easy one for me. And with that, we have covered every single Galaxy AI feature, including the ones coming with the new One UI 7. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And take care.